Understandably, it is very possible, nay, probable, that you are pronouncing this guy's name incorrectly. I'll tell you the right way and more on today's video. After reassigning forward Anthony Richard to the Laval Rocket this week, the Montreal Canadiens then recalled this top forward prospect from their AHL affiliate. And before we talk about his performance and his potential, you'll want to stick around for that. Let's first get his name right. How about that? You'd be hard-pressed to find two people who pronounce this player's name the same way or the proper way, including not just fans, but also media, and I'm looking at you, broadcasters. And it may seem like a trivial thing, but really, do any of us appreciate it if someone mispronounces our name? It's the most basic form of respect that we can pay to any of us, and for NHL players, players at all in professional hockey, the least that we can do is pronounce their name as close to correctly as we can. Now, some of you may be saying, but Amy, we heard broadcasters over the years and even this week say his name on television. How do you know what the proper way is to say it? Well, I'll tell you. It's because he told me so himself in our pre-interview prep conversation for this exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview that I did with this player in 2022. Before we pressed record and started the interview for that episode of this show, I asked him to say his name himself in the way he prefers it to be pronounced and how they would pronounce it in Finland. And so that is how I can come to you with a 100% guarantee that this is how to pronounce this young man's name. First name. It's not Jesse. It's not Jesse. It's not Yesse. It is Yesse. Say it with me. Yesse. And now for that last name. It's not Yolonen. It's not Ilanen. It's not Yolanen. It is Ulanen. Say it with me. Ulanen. Put it all together. Yesse. Ulanen. There you have it. Yesse Ulanen. That's how you say it. Uh, as spoken to me from the player himself. Tell your friends, tell your family, share this video so that we can spread the word and make sure that everyone everywhere pronounces Yesse Ulanen the proper way. Give the man some credit. Give him some respect. Uh, and hey, if you missed that that interview that I did with Yesse Ulanen last year, uh, then check the link down below in the show description. Click that. Watch it. It's a great interview, a great way to get to know this up-and-coming uh, Habs prospect. We talked uh, about his hockey career. We talked about uh, growing up with his dad who was playing in the NHL, Yuha. I started playing hockey like he's been always helping me and I, of course, uh, uh, took all, all his advice because I know what, uh, what he's done and how long he's been playing hockey and how much he knows about it. So I think it's been like, I pro uh, it could be that I, uh, I would still play hockey even if my dad didn't play, but I don't know. I think that's the biggest reason why I started playing and uh, uh, why I... Uh, why I made it to made it to pro because I had someone uh, who can give me like uh, good advice and uh, so as a pretty young age I always like knew what I have to have to do like uh, to practice to uh, like practice well eat eat healthy food and that kind of stuff. Just fun things about Yesse Ullinen, so you want to check that out for sure. Now that you know how to say his name, let's talk about what earned him that NHL recall and what kind of potential he has going forward. In fact, that's my feedback forum question for you this week. Answer this in the comments section below. What do you believe Yesse Ullinen's potential is for the Montreal Canadiens in the NHL? If you're not as familiar with Yesa Ullinen, let's just give you a bit of a crash course and a reminder. Uh, he just turned 23 years old. He is a second round draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens from 2018. He is six foot 168 and plays on the right wing. Uh, this is, uh, he did play for the Canadiens on Thursday night. That wasn't his NHL debut. He does have NHL games under his belt. Uh, he came up through uh, the, the Finnish ranks. He played uh, World Juniors for Team Finland. He 
He played with Jokerit for quite some time uh, and the Pelicans uh, over in Finland uh, in his younger days. And then when he went pro and came to the Canadians, he played 29 games his first year with Laval, uh, scoring nine goals and eight assists. Last year with Laval, 52 games in the AHL last year, 14 goals, 22 assists in the regular season. Tack on to that another three goals and three assists in the playoffs, helping them get to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final. Uh, this year in the AHL, Yesa Ullinen has had a very steady presence uh, for the Laval Rocket, most of the time up on the top line, and he has been steadily improving. He's always had a very strong defensive game. He's quite a strong skater and he has a wicked shot, particularly on the power play. You got to see him take one of those shots from his office, that left circle in the power play uh, in the Canadians game on Thursday night. But so far this year for the Laval Rocket in 34 games, eight goals, 19 assists, and five of those goals have come on the power play. Uh, This is a very strong uh, forward prospect for the Montreal Canadiens. Thursday night's game was his actually his 16th NHL game. Last season, he played 14 games for the Montreal Canadiens. And in those 14 games, he was held to just two goals and three assists. I'm not as concerned about those numbers in his first 14 games in the NHL. There is an adjustment that needs to be made. This is a young man who is has has used his time wisely in the AHL because he is trying to adjust to the North American game because he did spend so long playing in Europe. So as far as his potential, I see Jesse Ullinen as someone who could stick with the Canadians, particularly once they dump some of these uh, contracts off of the roster. I could see him likely as a third line winger. He can play fourth line, but he's not that kind of grinding kind of style. He's a very responsible 200 foot uh, forward. I'd like to see him at least third line winger. In his first game with the Canadians, despite getting less than eight minutes of even strength skating time, uh, I thought that Yesa Ullinen had a very strong game. He was confident. He was poised. He was defensively responsible. He made a gorgeous pass through the skates for Kirby Doc's goal to get that primary assist. Absolutely, Yesa Ullinen looked like he belonged and looked like he had the confidence to really try to uh, capitalize on the moment. So here's hoping that we'll see more of Yesa Ullinen uh, in the next few games. Three hot topics for you in Habs Happenings this week. Let's start with the fact that Brendan Gallagher is injured again. Gallagher just cannot seem to stay healthy this year at all. Uh, It's starting to really get to be a bit of an issue and a bit of a concern. And this time it looks like he's going to be out for about six weeks again. Uh, It's very difficult for Brendan Gallagher to try to generate anything and really start to get into a rhythm and be a productive part of the team when he can't seem to stay healthy for more than a couple of weeks at a time. We've said before, this is this is a contract that's going to be a challenge for Kent Hughes to deal with, uh, the, the size and length of term on his contact contract and how expensive it is, coupled with the fact that he is now very much labeled as injury prone and when he's not injured is not producing. So we'll have to wait to see how things progress with Brendan Gallagher. Second, we've got Jake Allen on injury. It seems in Sunday's practice it was reported that he was injured during practice uh, and he is considered day-to-day with an upper body injury. That forced the hand of the Canadians to have to recall on emergency basis Caden Primo up from the AHL. He has not started yet. He simply has backed up Sam Montembeau for the last two games this week. And uh, not sure if or when we will see Caden Primo make a start for the Canadians because, quite frankly, he has not had a stellar season in the AHL and has looked uh, quite shaky uh, at at times. There have been one or two games where he's looked a little more like his confident self, but he has not had a great uh, outing of things in the AHL. So we'll have to see if Caden Primo gets a start with Montreal or not. Finally, with the Habs happenings this week, it, this was kind of like injury edition. Habs prospect Vincennes Roror had a very scary moment for the Ottawa 67s the other night. Took an open ice hip check hit that 
he basically somersaulted on the ice and came down very hard on his back, neck, and head, uh, flipped over. It looks like it looked to to spectators that he lost consciousness and seemed to have a seizure on the ice. I we don't have actual confirmation of that. Uh, he was stretchered off, taken to hospital, but thankfully was released uh, and was kept overnight for observation. But full use of his limbs, talking aware, was released to go home. He'll be out indefinitely now, but our best wishes to Vincennes Rohrer. You never like to see that happen in hockey. And in our Rocket Booster this week, three hot topics for the Laval Rocket this week. First up, we've got a three-game losing streak. We like to talk about winning streaks, but we do have to note when there are losing streaks as well. They lost the second game of a back-to-back against Manitoba. They lost to the Toronto Marlies, and they lost to the Rochester Americans on Wednesday night. Uh, they now travel to Syracuse and will play Cleveland this weekend as well, so we'll see if they can snap that losing streak. Secondly, Joe Verbetic has been recalled from the trois Riviere Lions. That, of course, is a ripple effect from Caden Primo being recalled to the Montreal Canadiens. That meant there was an opening that someone needed to back up Kevin Poulin. And so the Habs goaltending prospect, all six foot six of him, uh, Joe Verbetic, uh, coming up from the Trois Rivières Lions. And it's likely that we could see him get a start uh, for the Laval Rocket sometime this weekend. He's got two wins on the season uh, in the AHL, so we'll see if he gets another chance. Lastly, with the Rocket Booster, uh, the AHL. AHL All-Star rosters have been announced, and two Laval players have made the cut. They are forward Anthony Richard and defenseman Justin Barron. Laval is actually hosting the AHL All-Star game this year, and so we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to it in the next couple of weeks. We will see if Richard and or Barron actually make it to the All-Star game. Barron, as we know, is currently up with the NHL, so if they choose not to return him in time, then someone else will will need to be selected. But for now, congratulations. It's an always an honor to be selected for the All-Star Game. So congratulations to Anthony Richard and Justin Barron. So take your newfound knowledge of how to pronounce Yese Ulanen. And remember, there is a renewed race for Connor Bedard and the Habs are right in there on it. If you missed last week's show where I talk about that and a whole lot more, then check that out right here. And we'll see you back again next week for Habs Hockey Report.